Hi, today we're going to be talking about pelvic corrections within a scoliosis spine. So in the Schroth method, we talk about predetermined pelvic corrections, and we have several of them. So here you have your pelvis in the spine. Now we're looking at the spine from the back. We have a thoracic or upper curve going to the right. We have a lumbar curve, lower curve going to the left. And in this curve, we're gonna say that the pelvis is going to the left with the lumbar curve. So our first two pelvic corrections take place in the sagittal plane, which is the forward and backward plane. Pelvic correction number one, our predetermined pelvic correction, is making sure that your pelvis is not too far forward and is not too far backwards, but is perfectly aligned. Our pelvic correction number two, which is also in the sagittal plane, is making sure that the pelvis is not too much tucked under or is not too much anteriorly or forwardly rotated, but that your pelvis is in neutral position right above your lower extremity, your legs, and right underneath your head. So you're in a really great neutral pelvis going forward and back and tipping forward and back. Now, the third pelvic correction takes place in the frontal plane, so you're moving your pelvis right and left. So in this example, again, we're looking at this person from the back. Their pelvis, due to the scoliosis, has shifted to the left. So they are going to actively rotate their, or shift their pelvis to the right. This is the third pelvic correction, is shifting the pelvis to the right. Now what happens with that is this hip tends to hike up when you shift this pelvis to the right. So we bring in the fifth pelvic correction, which is stepping your right leg back, and that will actually bring that hip down. Now, you are in a really great elongated state, as tall as you can from your head, and your feet are pressing down into the ground. So once you do these pelvic corrections, and you're in this elongated state, this brings about what we call a great diagonal traction line, because you've shifted your hips to the right, you've brought your right leg back, and now you're doing this traction. Now you're in great alignment. You're fully elongated, your pelvis is in great position, and you're ready to move on to the next principles of Schropp, which are the expansion breathing technique and the muscle activation. So for more information, contact Scoliosis, PT Jacks.